Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. This is the topic of finite impulse response and infinite impulse response system structures of Z transform for ESE 563 digital signal processing. At the end of this course, the students should be able to construct direct form 1 structures for a given system and extract information from direct form 1 structures to solve system responses. All slides used in this video are based on the monograph by Dr. Hazli Hashim. A final impulse response is a digital signal filter in which every sample of output is the weighted sum current input and or some finite number of pass input. The output will settle to a steady state within a finite amount of time. This is the output of finite impulse response in time domain and this is the output of finite impulse response in Z domain. Based on the equation of output FIR in time domain, this is the direct form 1. Uh, this is the current input and this is the current output Y and on the right. In the middle, we have the structure uh, where D is the delay unit time for time domain. If we multiply this current input with this delay unit time, it will produce Xn minus 1. This is the pass input. At this path, this is the current input. This is the multiplication symbol, so we multiply this coefficient B0 with Xn, it will produce B0 Xn. For the second path, this is the pass input Xn minus 1 after we apply this delay unit time to the current input. Multiply with this coefficient B1, it will produce B1 Xn minus 1. The third path is xn minus 2 after we apply double delay unit term for the current input multiply with coefficient b2 it will produce b2 xn minus 2 and so on so to produce this equation of uh, yn it is equal to b0 xn plus b1 xn minus 1 plus b2 xn minus 2 plus bm xn minus m. This is direct form 1 that based on the equation of output FIR in Z domain. Again, we have the same, almost similar structure, but we have xz as the current input and yz as the current output. In the middle, we have z minus 1. This is the delay unit time for Z domain. Okay, at this path, is the current input exact multiply with the coefficient b naught it will produce b naught exact the second path is z minus one exact after we apply the delay unit time in time z domain to exact the current input it will produce this one multiply with coefficient b1 it will produce b1 z minus one exact the third path is z minus two z after we apply double delay unit time in z domain to the current input z multiply with coefficient b2 it will produce b2 z minus two z and so on so to produce the output response for yz it is equal to b not xz plus b1 z minus 1 xz plus b2 z minus 2 xz and plus bm z minus m xz